Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Global Healthy Living. Uh, Happy New Year to everyone once again, and please subscribe to my channel and be part of the Global Health family. In today's video, I'm going to talk about an infection called candidiasis. So what is candidiasis? Candidiasis is a fungal infection caused by uh, a yeast called candida. And candida lives on the skin and in the body in places like uh, the mouth, uh, the throat, the gut, and the vagina. Uh, candidiasis can cause infections if it grows without control and then it enters into the body, for example, the bloodstream and the body organs like uh, the brain, uh, the heart and the kidney. There are several types of candidiasis, but in this video, I'm particularly going to talk about uh, vaginal candidiasis and the candidiasis of the throat, uh, of the mouth, and of the oesophagus. When a uh, candida affects the vagina, it's commonly called vaginal yeast infection. And other names of these infections are vaginal candidiasis or vulvovaginal candidiasis, or still, you can call it candidovaginitis. So sometimes candida can multiply and cause infections if the environment inside the vagina changes and then encourages the growth of this infection. Although most vaginal candidiasis can be mild, in some cases they can be severe and then they cause uh, a lot of uh, problems that I'll tell you in this video. So what are the symptoms of vaginal candidiasis? Number one is vaginal itching and soreness. So if you experience vaginal itching and soreness, uh, please go for a checkup. Maybe you have this yeast infection. Another symptom is an abnormal vaginal discharge. And this discharge can appear like a white coated cheese. So if you experience such, please go for a checkup. Maybe you have this kind of infection called uh, vaginal candidiasis. Another symptom of vaginal candidiasis is pain during uh, sexual intercourse and also pain or discomfort uh, while urinating. Candida that affects the mouth and the throat is called thrush and then candida in the oesophagus is called um, oesophageal candidiasis or candida esophagitis. Um, esophageal candidiasis uh, is one of the common infections in people living with HIV and AIDS. So if your immune system is weak, you are at a very high risk of getting uh, this type of infection. So what are the common symptoms of uh, candidiasis that attacks the mouth, the throat, and the oesophagus? First of all, a person infected can have white patches uh, on the inner cheeks, tongue, uh, the roof of the mouth, and the throat. Secondly, a person can develop redness and soreness uh, of the tongue and the mouth. And also a person infected with this kind of infection can have cotton-like feeling in the mouth. Uh, they can feel loss of taste. Uh, they can feel uh, pain while uh, eating and swallowing. And also they can get cracks and redness at the corners of the mouth. So those are the symptoms of uh, candida infections of the mouth, the throat, and the oesophagus. What causes candida infection? One of the things that causes candida infections include prolonged use of antibiotics. So if you use antibiotics for a long time, you do not only 
gate antibiotic resistance but the antibiotics in your body kill bacteria both the good and the bad and the problem is that if the good bacteria in your body die it helps the candida to attack you because it's these good bacteria that help you to prevent the infection of candida secondly uh, if you have diabetes type 1 and type 2 you are at a higher risk of getting uh, candida infections and the reason is that people having uh, diabetes it's like sugar levels in their mouth and in their uh, membrane mucous membranes are high and candida feeds on sugar so if you have uh, diabetes type 1 or type 2 you are at a risk of getting candida and also eating a diet high in uh, refined sugars you are likely to get uh, this infection called candida more so high stress levels uh, give you a, a risk of getting candida infections as well as uh, oral birth control pills but according to research oral birth control pills alone cannot cause uh, candida but if you use them in combination with refined sugar you are likely to get uh, this infection called candida so how can you prevent uh, getting this yeast infection number one maintain a uh, good overall hygiene it is important two wearing comfortable clean uh, and dry cotton underwears will help you known to get uh, this yeast vaginal infection more so if you're a lady and you go to the toilet or uh, wipe from the front to the back and not otherwise uh, to avoid spreading the bacteria from the anal opening uh, to the vagina pra practice sex with condom even though uh, this infection is not uh, an STD but one can contract it if you are intimate with somebody who happened to have this kind of infection avoid uh, synthetic underwears like I told you try your best to have cotton underwears and avoid synthetic underwears and tight jeans in case you live in a hot environment and also reduce intake of sweets and refined sugar to reduce the frequency of the infection so thank you so much for watching this video and please do not forget to subscribe comment like and share thank you